welcome back to All Things Tony J. If you're not already a subscriber, I want to encourage you to go and subscribe. This is going to end the series on my 12-hour endurance race. If you haven't watched the first episode, go to my channel, obviously, All Things Tony J. Watch the first one all the way to this one because today is all about the race results. And not going to be like those other videos. I'm going to go ahead and tell you I finished 6 out of 22 regardless of age in the 12-hour race, and I finished first in my class of 60. And so here's the deal. I know what you're going to ask me. You finished first in your age group? Yes, but there were only two others. So let me go ahead and disclaim that. I can't control who shows up. The mileage that I was able to accomplish was 46 miles. Everything went pretty well. I spent if we're looking at stats, I spent roughly 11 hours and 50 minutes on my feet, walking the entire time, and running in between. And I also ate while I walked. Some people want to know, how do you do that? Well, I eat while I walk. You hit the aid station. You don't want to die in the chair, as they say. And so it was that we had a great, great time. And it was the endless mile in Alabaster, Alabama. And I want to encourage you, you should go try that out. Throughout the race, felt pretty good. Tried to bank some miles at the beginning and hoped that I'd banked enough to reach my overall goal of 51 miles. Didn't get it, 46, but that was okay. I started doing the math at a certain part of the race and realized that I wasn't gonna be able to get it. And so I tried my best to, to still go as far as I could. I wasn't gonna be a quitter, but it was a good time. Good time, no blistering, no chafing. Uh, stomach never got upset. I dialed it in, and when I didn't hit 51, it wasn't because of anything other than I just wasn't good enough that day. I left everything out on the course. So if you've never been a part of a race like this, I would encourage you to do that. But one of the big wins in this particular race was that I had purchased a new Coros Pace 2 GPS watch. I'd been using a TomTom, -tom, but the battery life in the TomTom -tom wasn't any good. I could actually outrun the battery life. Not so with the Coros Pace 2. With the Coros Pace 2, it's going to be upside down, but with the Coros Pace 2, it's got like a 30-hour battery life. It's got like a hyper GPS setting where it doesn't calculate GPS constantly. And so I still haven't charged my watch since the race, and I was out there for 12 hours. So anyway, thanks again for watching this series. If you're not a subscriber to All Things Tony J, I hope that you'll consider that. But the big thing is, is I want to show you some actual race footage. So if you're willing to stick around, you'll get to see what an endurance race looks like. Again, thank you for following this series. Thank you for watching All Things Tony J. And if you're not, I hope you'll become a subscriber. We are on our way to the venue. Everything's going about like planned. And next stop should be the venue site. We'll see how it goes. 12 hour endurance race. Here we go.